In our last video, we saw how to get things to fall from the sky downwards, how to have them touching objects, disappearing and then reappearing where they should be. And I think you'll agree that this is looking much more like a game that you want to play than the ones that we've seen before in my videos. What we need to do in this video is have our cat catching the bananas and maybe even keeping score of how many bananas he has caught. So let's do that right now. What we'll do is go back to the cat. If you remember in our last video, I took away the up and down. I'll, I'll keep them there in case I need them. But for now, we're just talking about our left and our right keys to move our cat left and right. For our cat to catch bananas, we simply have to add a tiny bit of code into the code that's already there for the bananas hitting the floor. What we'll do is we'll go to this thing called the operators, that's green, and we're gonna pick up an or. And what we'll say is, if the bananas are ever touching the green color, which is the floor, and now what we'll do in the sensing, we'll add a new color, and we'll say if ever they're touching this orange, that's the cat's orange, all of these things will happen, and that's it. So let's just check this out. And there we have our cat catching bananas. As you can see, I've added the same code to all three bananas now. So whether they touch the floor or they touch the cat, the same thing will happen. They will disappear, wait two seconds, and then go back to the top of the screen. Let's just check this out. And if you can see, the cat is now catching the bananas. The bananas are disappearing. This game is quite hard when the bananas are so far apart, but you can see that it's working really well. So in the next video, we're going to continue with this game and add scoring so that when the cat catches bananas, his score goes up by one.